going on beneath the surface, a digital cyber world, where the battles are not being fought with bombs and bullets, but with bits and bytes. I do believe that uh, the cyber threat will equal or surpass the threat from counterterrorism in the foreseeable future. There's a strong likelihood that the next Pearl Harbor that we confront could very well be a cyber attack. We will suffer a catastrophic cyber attack. The clock is ticking. Whether it's your phone, whether it's your printer, whether it's your computer, any piece of technology could be compromised. of Eastern Europe. Ukraine says hackers are behind a big power outage in that country. The lights went out for hundreds of thousands of people right before Christmas across the western part of Ukraine. And now researchers say it was an attack, a highly destructive malware that infected the utility system in Ukraine. This would be the first ever successful black energy attack. That's the, the name of the malware, black energy. Crimea is under a state of emergency because of a blackout after two key transmission towers were reportedly blown up in Ukraine. A state of emergency has been declared in Crimea after power lines carrying electricity from Ukraine were reportedly sabotaged. The peninsula was blacked out after the transmission towers were toppled on Saturday. Generators are supplying power for vital services like hospitals and communications. But 1.9 million of Crimea's 2 million strong population remain without electricity. that goes in um, and it can help take control of something but then what it does is like in some intrusions they don't want you to know that they've been there the bad actors this one actually now has a feature it allows you to go in enter or uh, invade the system take control of it and then start wiping things it wipes over 4,000 different types of files it has a feature called kill disk and that's exactly what it does it kills the hard drive it makes it unbootable and then it forces the machine to reboot it's kind of what happened with Saudi Aramco back in 2012 30,000 computers taken offline that's pretty much what happened with Ukraine their critical systems their control systems the brains of this system were taken offline and when they rebooted, boom, the power went out. The people didn't know what was going on. They couldn't reach the electricity supplier, EDF. So they called us, but we didn't know what was going on either, or when power would be restored. That was the 4th of November, 2006. When a luxury liner was delivered on the Ems, a power cut with far-reaching consequences occurred. A single high-voltage power line was switched off. There were communication problems between the grid operators. This resulted in a Europe-wide chain reaction.
Marines and control them. Which obviously is funny because the new smart meters that we were getting installed have a remote disconnection feature. That basically means that if you don't pay your bill, the electrical company will just shut down your electricity remotely with a click of a button on a remote computer, maybe like 1,000 kilometers away from your house. And we were able to control that. And uh, even found a way that would have allowed us uh, to craft custom updates, which could be considered somewhat like a virus, because if you craft a custom update that will shut down at some time or will listen to a backdoor or command or whatever, it will, will turn every smart meter into a flashing tool. So basically one smart meter will update others. Then when those others get updated with the code, they will update others. So it will spread pretty much like a virus does. Even though it's not running a real OS, but the way of working is the same. So you could cause a big blackout just uh, by having access to one smart meter. And by having access, I don't mean opening it. I mean just on the optical port. And no one would ever know how it started or uh, how it happened. What happened at the Lucas Hospital, which was a fully digitized hospital and one of the district's intensive care centers, was that we were informed that the entire IT infrastructure had been shut down because of a ransomware attack, so it could no longer provide emergency cover. We wondered what would happen if a patient with a heart attack had to be taken to somewhere 15 minutes further away and died as a result. The Lucas Hospital is an important part of emergency care in the district. It's fully connected in order to save lives. Patient scans are remotely accessible so that better and faster treatment can be given, for example. Then there are the results of the tests done on hundreds of blood samples every day. The network distributes them to the relative departments in real time. The cardiology department relies on modern IT too these days. The digital revolution is also revolutionizing medicine and increasing lifespans. What's important is that everything's faster. We get results right away. I can take scans to the patient, scans I didn't have before, and show him or her the problem. Or I could show the patient other examples of pneumonia. You are highly connected and then there was a problem. What happened? We had an external hacking attack. To protect our data, the systems had to be shut down. With that, the complete system was switched off and our capacity was significantly reduced. Digital blackmail always follows the same principle. It happens when someone opens a manipulated attachment, when surfing a fake website, when clicking on a bad link. By making such a wrong click, malware is activated, which then spreads undetected in the system. Disguised as a harmless code, the Trojan grabs all the data and encrypts it. Nothing can be done anymore. The Trojan has taken over the computer. The victim is given a choice. Either the data is destroyed forever or a ransom has to be paid quickly. 
those who pay have to hope that the attacker will decrypt the data again after a successful transaction. Those who don't pay may well lose it forever. <laughs>